Hey there, how's it going everybody? Dan here with PlantAbundance.com. I got a very special episode today for those who are into ornamentals and flowers. This plant here is one that I've grown very fond of over the years. I've been growing this patch under this large fruitless mulberry tree now for five years and every year it's gotten more and more abundant. This is none other than the calla lily. Now this is truly a show-stopping, beautiful, eye-popping flower. It's almost hard to believe just how beautiful these flowers remain, even with very little care. These are very low maintenance. Besides being grown in the ground, this plant makes a great low maintenance container flower. So these plants are perennial in zones eight and higher, but they can also be grown annually in colder climates. You just have to collect the rhizome from the ground before winter hits and store it until next spring. So these plants are grown from a tuberous root or a rhizome, and they're best planted about a foot apart. They prefer moist soil and will do very well on the edge of a pond or a swale, but I found in my zone here, zone 9B, they do great with a winter mulching and then just being in a mostly shady spot. So in cooler areas, they'll actually thrive in full sun, but I find they do excellent in mostly shade as well. So this patch is mostly shaded, gets a little bit of late afternoon sun. Now in the five years this patch has been growing here, I've only actually fertilized this area a couple times. And I will give them a little bit of water later in the spring, but for the most part they just grow on their own and they do excellent. Now these plants also do require a certain amount of chill time, so if you're in the hotter climates, you're also going to need to collect those rhizomes and store them in a way where they have that chill period before you plant them back out. So if you're considering establishing some new plants out, you're going to want to plant those rhizomes out in the spring after the last chance of frost has passed. Now in similar zones such as I, zone 9B, I'd recommend planting this as an understory to a larger tree. Not only will that tree provide the part shade to full shade you're looking for, but then in the winter, if your tree's deciduous like this fruitless mulberry is, all those leaves that have fallen off the tree onto the lawn, I'll just rake those up and mulch around where the calla lilies are. And that just does an excellent job helping to protect those plants throughout the winter and then giving them that added nutrition and that boost so that come late winter, early spring, when the flowers start to reemerge, the plants look healthy and happy. So caring for this plant throughout the growing season is really easy as well. When it comes to deadheading the flowers that have died back, I simply reach down at the base of the plant and just pull it off. It just snaps right off at the base very easily. Now you can also use a pair of pruners and just shear it off right there at the base of the plant. And I do the same thing with the leaves that are turning yellow and dying back a bit. Now, as an added side benefit, this plant is actually very water rich. It contains quite a bit of moisture in the stalks. So I like to chop these stalks up and use them as a mulch around my fruit trees. I feel it does a great job adding that extra little bit of moisture around the trees, especially during the hot summer. Now one of the most popular reasons to grow this plant is because they make a beautiful cut flower and it really couldn't be much easier. I'll just simply pop out a couple of those flowers and some leaves from the base of the plant. Cut them down to size and put them in a vase with water. They're absolutely gorgeous. Well, I really hope you'll consider growing the calla lily. It's an absolutely beautiful low maintenance plant. You won't regret it. And with that, I hope this video finds you and finds you well. Out in the world and out in your garden, planting more abundance in your life. Take care, everybody. I'll be talking to you again soon.